Our first stop on today's show is at a new Japanese restaurant and ramen bar on the far northwest side of San Antonio. Moving to the U.S. from Japan, founder Tomo Takahashi opened the first Jinya Ramen Bar in California in 2010. He designed uh, his ramen recipes with uh, uh, more of an American palate in, in mind. Jinya Ramen Bar now expands across the U.S., offering a variety of ramen and Japanese dishes. There's a lot of different items here right in front of us. I want to kind of go over each one with you, starting with these two in the front. What's the name of this dish here? This is karage, uh, crispy chicken. We have gyoza here, uh, creamy shrimp tempura, and our signature ginya bun. This is a pork belly on a bao bun, and it's super delicious. Talk to me about what makes the ramen here stand out from other spots you can go to. We have a great umami, and that's like the seven cents, they say, in terms of uh, our food. This is the tonkatsu black. This comes with a uh, pork broth, pork chashu, Ooh. and our seasoned egg here. Oh my, yeah. And that's something that everybody looks for, right? It's that soft boiled egg and it's marinated. You have like a soy mixture and that's how you get that color on the outside, beautiful texture on the inside, soft and creamy. Yes. Mm. Now you have two other variations. Yeah. What's going on this with this right one? This right here is our spicy chicken ramen. Piece. Oh yeah, look at that. Is that the spicy sauce right that's there? That's a little spicy sauce with <laughs> the uh, chicken chashu on the side. Now we're gonna go into the kitchen and we're gonna make a dish from start to finish. So who are we gonna make it with and what are we making? We're gonna go see our head chef Long. We're gonna make a spicy chicken ramen. Oh, nice. All right, well I gotta take a bite of this one here. It's been calling my name. I've been holding it this whole time. I wanna get a little of this action. Joining us now is the COO Long Lee. Thank you so much for having us. Nice to meet you. And now we're in the kitchen, and you're going to make for us one of the ramen dishes here. This is the spicy chicken. Yes. Super popular one, right? Very, very popular. What's the first thing you do to make this dish? We'll grab the noodle here. The noodles need to be cooked at a 35 second, and then we'll start with the uh, the sauces. We have a ch chicken oil. Oh, chicken oil. Yes. For the flavor, and then we have the shio, which is the salt-based seasoning for all ramen. And then we have the spicy sauce. So these are the different broths that you have, and, yes. and in 18, 15, 20 hours, right? Yes. I mean, you let this go as long as it needs. Yes, sir. Look at how silky it is. Mix the sauce. All right, so uh, now you got right. the noodles. They're yep, the all noodles ready, al dente cooked. You want to aerate the, the noodle a little bit, so. Aerate the noodles. Grab the bean sprout and put it right there. This is a bean sprout sauce. Yep. Every ramen's are built individually. There's no salt in any of the broth. So we have the green onion, and then we also have the spinach on there. Grilled chicken breast. Last finish touch, a little spicy sauce on there. Now this is a super popular dish, but you also have another ramen bowl that's super popular, right? Yes, we have the tonkatsu black, that's our signature dish. You guys, Jinya Ramen. It just opened up here on the northwest side of San Antonio. I mean, great ramen options, tapas, cocktails, and just come out here and have a great time. Here you go, cheers to you. Cheers. Yeah, the soup is where the magic is. This is delicious. Can I try some of yours? Yes, definitely. Okay.